Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews. And on this episode, we're going to be looking at Motive's brand new urethane piece, the Tank Rampage. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. As we said, we're looking at Moto's brand new urethane ball, the Tank Rampage. Now, I myself didn't get to throw this one, but I watched you guys throw it, so why don't you tell me a little bit more about the ball, and then we'll talk about what we saw. Um, it has the Gear version 2 core in it, mm -hmm. which is a modified from the original core to raise the RG and the flare potential. And it has the brand new Alchemy urethane cover stock on it. So brand new urethane cover stock. Mm -hmm. It's the new urethane piece for them. It's not as early as the original mm -hmm. tank um, and not quite as clean as the Rebel uh, tank mm -hmm. uh, but it's much stronger overall than either one of the tanks and it's the strongest to date obviously. Mm -hmm. um, it's like throwing a reactive ball that doesn't overread and never overhooks. Um, it's great on short patterns and uh, low volume patterns. Yeah, now I know when, in watching you guys, uh, the look of surprise on your faces when you threw it um, really kind of harkens back to that, like throwing a reactive, because it really did look like you were it throwing. Hooked. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like you guys yeah. were throwing urethane in the front and then reactive. Yeah, the it was very interesting, because yeah, it just had that, that move and then it started setting like the urethane normally does in mm -hmm. the first section, and then it just had a little extra pop down lane, and it was like, hmm, that was quite. Quite interesting. All right. Well, rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up? All right, guys. Here is Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. Yeah, he's bowling like Kegel Main Street oil pen. Uh, now, I didn't get to throw this one. Yeah. Um, but you said in the opening about how it was not as early as the original tank, which yes. is an old school kind of urethane yeah. ball. Um, and it wasn't as clean as the Rebel that went way, way down. down. Yeah. Um, you said it looked like a reactive ball. Yeah. Well, it's, you get to watch the reaction here. It, you can see it just kind of goes down and then hooks. And that's what reactive does, where urethane normally hooks in the middle of the lane, makes it set Or pointed. earlier. Yeah, yeah you're, you're looking yeah. at... Regular urethane used to grab the lane in the first 15 to 25 yeah. feet, and this ball is getting down lane. Yeah, very. Like it is, it's <laughs> nice still, carry. Yeah, it still has, like, clean. We're not yeah. saying that it's not clean comparing it. It's just not as clean as the the Rebel was because that was a well, very. Well, no, the, the Rebel was long. The original tank. tank. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that yeah. thing, that thing. Yeah. I remember watching. Um, we have a, a motive staffer in our local yeah. house, and that thing rolled at his feet. feet. Yeah, exactly. Where this has got that little bit more down lane. Yeah. And it very strong off the spot. Like yeah. Now, here see, you yeah. are. You didn't see it as much of the first with, with yeah. Wayne. Uh, yeah. But you see that. You, you can see the difference. Yeah. It's almost like throwing a different ball. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it's, yeah, it's just I have a little bit more turn than my dad does. And uh, I'm taking advantage of it with this ball. And, I mean, yeah. we, we talked about it off camera about a lot of times, sometimes when the shots break down, you see a double clutch. Yep. Uh, where the ball hooks and then flattens out and then hooks again. This actually kind of had a double hook for me like that, but it was the same every time, and it was a lot longer. Yeah. Because it's the urethane setting itself early and then going down and then making that, like I said, little f movement at the and end. you can see the the first shot hooked a lot. Yeah. The the last couple have been in the oil. Yeah. And Which is someplace you don't really throw urethane. Urethane, yeah. And it actually has opened up the lane yeah. for you where if you miss a little right rather than urethane being just kind of blowing through, yeah. you're actually getting some motion off this. Exactly, yeah. It's like <laughs> it's hard to explain. It's no, well, Watch Cameron here. <laughs> yeah, now this is where you really yeah. we, we really saw a difference in the performance. Yeah. So, like, Cameron's playing a little bit straighter than he normally does. Well, look at his face. Yeah. Well, and it's we haven't touched on the hitting power. There's a reason this ball is called a tank. Yeah. Because it hits like a tank. So. Um. Yeah, Cam is definitely able to open up. Look how far out that went. Yeah. Boom. He's been able to open up yeah. the lane with the urethane ball. Yeah. 
Exactly. And that's something you normally don't see once again. Uh, but because of the the reaction it has on it, you can see that one's a little tighter. It doesn't overreact yep. and it doesn't underreact. It's got that. Yeah, it didn't blow through yeah, like the head exactly. pin. Yeah, it's... exactly. Now, I know um, staffer Zach Wilkins threw this one at the, the, the recent Canadian National Championships. He threw it on the short pad yes. all day. Yeah, and I think somebody said he moved, what, three, four boards? Yeah. like, uh, like And he was... 200 pins ahead of everybody. Almost 300 yeah. pins over, yeah. yeah. It was so obviously this gave yeah. him a look that nobody else had. Yeah, and I mean, you can just watch Cameron throw, and it's just, it's amazing. It's a good piece. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.